I wonder if I can get away with just taping it and not gluing it. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I am the founder as well as the graphic designer and the illustrator for the brand Ziri and Dre. And on this channel, we talk about running a small business, all the behind the scenes, the good, the bad, the ugly, all the things. So today we are doing a photo shoot and before the photo shoot, we're doing the prep. So I bought some things from Michael's craft store as well as Dollarama and I have to put some of it together. I didn't really think that through in the sense of doing this today. The day of the photo shoot but you know we we move so i got this kit as well as this kit so these are the two kits i got from michael's and then i found this also at michael's it's just a rainbow it's meant to be like a sorting type of tray and then i got this from the dollar store and shout out to the dollar store because this one's already made so this is a unicorn then i got the rainbow i got the ship and i have the plane i also got these blocks that i may or may not use to just you know scatter around the chute these are also from the dollar store so these might be just scattered around uh, on the floor, around the dolls while we're doing the photography shoot. So I don't know which one I wanna keep. Do I wanna keep both? I'm not entirely sure when it comes to the kits. I may wanna do the boat, ship thing, but it says it takes 45 minutes. Is that because it's 45 minutes if a kid does it? Or is it just 45 minutes in general because you have to wait for the glue to dry because part of it needs to be glued. And then there's the plane. Essentially, these are just going to be props that are just going to be sitting around near the dolls when they're doing more of like a mood shot. In general, when it comes to photography, I just try to make it as easy as possible. So it's going to be on a white background. I do have construction paper that I might use as like backdrops depending on the photos. But generally speaking, white background with some wooden accents. That's kind of what I've been doing. It's kind of what I've done before. And so I have these. I also found this like huge shelf that was at Winners. Home sense winners, whatever. And so I'm probably gonna have that in there too. And then I got this small shelf. So I'll show you what they kind of look like here. So the one is rainbow with a little cloud, the other one's just a little cloud. I may use both, I may use none. We'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna take you guys on the little ride of doing a photo shoot. So first we're gonna prep some of the props that need to be prepped, unfortunately. And then we're gonna pack up, get all their stuff in the car get to the location and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're doing a photo shoot. I need to figure out if I wanna do both pieces. So I do like the visuals of both of them that they show, but of course like things happen and they may not necessarily look the same once you do them. But the biggest thing for me when it comes to the pirate ship is I don't wanna have that big skull there because essentially what I'm gonna do is just have them without any of the stickers that come with it like it's just going to be straight wood neutral looking so i don't want to have anything too vibrant i don't want to have that big pirate skull on there cool but i don't need it don't want it um and it seems to be a sticker i don't know if you could see it but it seems to be a sticker so hopefully i won't have to add that my only other concern is that the sales I don't want it to be paper. I hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's just like a piece of fabric, but I don't think so. I feel like it's gonna be paper, but you can't tell. And if you open it, you can't take it back. And so I don't wanna open it and then be stuck with it <laughs> if I don't want it. The plane, I'm a little bit more optimistic about. Those pieces are also smaller. And again, I'm not gonna add the stickers to the actual final piece. I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep it just bare straight wood. So let's open up the airplane one and do this one first and see how we feel about it. If it's too complicated, too annoying, then we're not doing the pirate ship and we're just gonna return that one. But for this one, we're gonna see how it goes and hope for the best. I'm gonna show you guys my desk in a minute while I prepare and put this together. Don't judge me, my desk is a mess. Let's do this. I 
estimated how much of it needed to be glued but I feel like I can't move forward until it dries yes yes I feel like I need to like hold it in place for like 10 minutes that's probably why it takes 45 minutes it actually doesn't take long to do because there really aren't that many pieces to put together it's really like the 45 minutes is probably the drying time I assume and yeah there's a lot of gluing that needs to be done am I gonna do the boat we'll we'll, we'll see stay tuned and find out Should I be using a better glue? Yes, yes I should. Do I have a better glue? No, no I don't. So we're gonna make do with what we got. That's what we do here. I don't even know if doing all this, if I'll even like what this looks like in the shoot itself, like during the photo shoot. So I could be doing all this for nothing, really. Like I won't know until it's time to do the photo shoot and we're taking pictures or he's taking pictures and I uh, either like it or I don't but that's the joys of this right like you really don't know until you try it but you hope for the best <laughs> you hope for the best so I'm just gonna sit here for like five minutes and then I'll be back so I'm also in the middle of doing my nails because we do last minute things here. So while I'm letting that dry a little bit, I'm putting on a fresh coat of very basic pink, light pink uh, nail polish that's gonna come off to be probably like more natural looking. So that's what we're doing here. Hopefully you could see that. Okay, I'm making a final decision. We are finishing this plane we are not doing the ship. We're taking this back, not today, another day. And we are making our life easier because why am I making it more complicated than it needs to be? Who knows? I did that to myself. Not smart, not logical. So we're gonna have the blocks. We're gonna have the plane, hopefully I can finalize and finish that. And then we're gonna have the unicorn that I showed you guys earlier, as well as like the rainbow and the shelf and all that stuff. And then we have some other pieces from like a photo shoot I did like a couple years ago that like these blocks that I painted and stuff. I'll potentially add those back in there. Who knows? But we're making life easy because at the end of the day, as long as the products are the main focus, that's what really counts. And as long as they look good, that's all that matters. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. I'm going to add my top coat to my nails. And then I'm going to start packing all this stuff because it's about 1, it's 1.43 right now and the shoot is at 4. It's like literally a 10 minute drive from where I live, but I want to be ready by 3. So my personal goal is to have everything ready, set up, even if it's like in the apartment, packed away, ready, that's all that matters. As long as I'm ready by 3, then I'll be good. So, nails, finish the airplane, pack the stuff, and also hopefully eat at one point because... All I had was a banana today, but we'll, we'll do with that later. Okay, let's do this. Okay, nails are done. Added some cuticle oil on top. They might get smudged, we'll see. This is drying, but not fast enough. Um, so we're probably gonna go with the tape option as much as possible because I need to flip this upside down now in order to add the supports for the wings because that's a thing it's now 208 and I still have to do my hair essentially I'm just like slicking down my edges I have to do that let that sit I have to pack all the stuff and then I have to apparently finish this plane Cause, you know I like I like problems I like to give myself stress and problems
Okay, so hair is currently being laid down. That's gonna sit for like a while. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. Two something. It is 2.34, so I'm gonna keep this on until I'm essentially either ready to go or at the location, just because it needs to be as flat as possible and dry. So I'm getting clothes ready. Um, I'm essentially just gonna be wearing either a white top um, with an either a tank top or like a crop top on the inside and then some jeans, so it's very casual because I'm a casual person and the brand is about me and what I do and I'm not gonna pretend and be something I'm not. So. I have two button up options, one short sleeve, one long sleeve. This one's more like cropped. And then I'm also gonna bring like just a regular white t-shirt and decide what I wanna wear from there. I'm probably just gonna keep this on for when I, I'm on my way there. And then, yeah, so getting the clothes ready, getting the jeans I wanna wear ready. I'm just gonna wear the bottoms already and then I'll just change my top once I'm at the actual location. And then now it's a matter of figuring out this whole plain thing. It's almost done. It has like oil stains from my nails on it. It has glue stains. It's, it's a mess. We'll see how that goes. And then it's also getting all the products and stuff ready. So almost there. I turned my Christmas ornament. So this is the original ornament. Hopefully it will focus. So that's the original ornament. And then at a market recently, someone was like, oh, that'd be great as a keychain. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. So I went to Michael's previously and I got um, like this keychain and like lobster clasp as well as like that little star at the bottom. So I turned my ornament, focus, into a keychain. So I posted about it on uh, Instagram and TikTok and all the things. If you're not following me on those pages, it's Ziri and Dre, just like this page, this channel. Um, yeah, so I posted that and people really liked it. So I'm gonna try to get some pictures of that so I can post that on the website, hopefully this week, depending on when the photographer can get me back the pictures. But I'm gonna ask him if he can like specifically send me like two pictures ASAP, the vitiligo doll, which is getting captured today, as well as the keychain. Okay, so I have, okay, that's my, that's my cutie cat. That's Bay. Say hi, Bay. You say hi to the folks. Tell them to subscribe. Yeah, tell them. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So I now have to pack the orders and, pack the orders, I have no orders. Ha! I have to pack the props as well as the products in order to get ready to go. I have a list of all the things that I need to be shot. I also have a shot list and references that I sent to the photographer who um, is gonna be doing the pictures. And so a shot list is essentially all the items I need to be captured as well as the angles or positions they need to be captured in. So I have some that are flat lay, some that are like eye level, long shot, medium shot, etc. So that's just to help both of us have a better understanding on what we're doing and what we're gonna get done. And that also makes things go by a lot faster. So now it's pack up time. Also, I haven't eaten. So I gotta do that, I guess. Um, I put the plane out in the living room under the AC, hoping that'll make it dry faster because in my office gets like no air and I don't want to open the window. So hopefully that helps because I still need to, I like the propeller part. And then after that, we're just packing that up safely and hopefully it gets there in one piece. But we're also gonna be bringing some things, so like tape and like some little extra tools and stuff that we can potentially use to help with whatever we need to do for this photo shoot. So let's pack. So I'm all over the place and I'm probably not getting footage of everything because let's be honest, it's hard. Um, so I'm also bringing this like sweater vest thing that I could potentially wear over the button up, like the long sleeve one. Maybe I'll wear that. I don't know, we'll see. I changed because I got hot. So yeah, I might change again. I'll just bring this as an extra thing. We'll see. Yes, bae. Really? I feel you, I feel you. Mama's, mama's all over the place, huh? Yeah. Okay, so. 
I'm gonna be finishing up the packing and then I'm going to make sure I have everything, check my list, check it twice, and then I will get to the photography studio or the space that we're doing the photography. So I will see you guys when I'm at the photo shoot. The shoot is done it's nighttime at this point and it went really well in my personal opinion i actually am taking back two pieces so that huge rainbow shelf and one of the little kits so essentially the ship kit that i never made i took the pirate ship back and so now i'm actually on the way to winners to take back that huge shelf but so far so good i'm very excited about the pictures and how they came out I obviously have learned some things that I already knew, like stop leaving things to be such last minute, you know, no big deal. Um, and on top of that, like, don't do your nails when you need to make a wood kit. I mean, it's logical, but obviously I'm not logical sometimes. So it was fun. Um, you guys got to see some clips. It was great. And I'll show you the pictures when they're all ready. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy small business behind the scene content, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.